Hey there folks. So today we are in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, yesterday we took a Segway tour of the downtown which was awesome and I had every plans to record it and I forgot to bring the camera with me. So sorry about that. Nothing I can do. But anyway, today we are on Clinton Street where they have a whole bunch of really old buildings with some different kinds of shops in them and one of which is the American Pickers store Antique Archaeology. So we're gonna go check that out and we'll probably check out some of these other stores while we're here too. This is cool. I wonder if this works. Oh, that's so cool. See, this is the kind of thing I'd put in my new garage. Not for 2,700 bucks, but if it worked, that would be cool to have. Huh. Cigarettes, oh yeah, wow. You don't see many cigarette vending machines anymore. They're almost non-existent nowadays. I think they might even be illegal. Look at this old machine here. What do you suppose this thing is? A saw with a Harley transmission. Oh, really? Well, this is obviously not mass produced, whatever it is. Oh, this is an old coin-operated ride for kids. This is one of those things you'd see outside the grocery store in lieu of a horse. Even better than that Pepsi machine. 1900, I think I'll pass. This is cool. Look at all these old tools. Unbelievable. They use this stuff to build cars. This is the old Auto Works building where we are right now. Marathon cars, yeah, these are, this is where the uh, marathons were built. It's where this, uh, all these stores are now. They were built in this building. And they've memorialized it. Okay, this thing right here is pretty interesting. These old factories would be powered by one single steam engine, and this is probably the original boiler for it. Yep, 
This is what powered this old car factory back in the early 1900s. Alrighty folks, so that was the American Pickers store. It's uh, pretty cool stuff, especially if you're a fan of the show. You get to see a lot of the stuff that you know they actually went and bought, uh, and you see them buying on the show. But anyway, um, it was it was cool stuff, but uh, no way I'm paying the kind of money they want for that stuff. Uh, anyway, wanted to give you a quick shot of our campground here. Um, we are at Two Rivers Campground in Northeast Nashville. Um, very nice little campground. Some very nice uh, RVs here. Um, they got a pool up front. I'll maybe walk around and show you that. But um, it would appear that this is RV Central of Nashville because in this one spot there are three campgrounds. There's this one, there's another one on the other side of that fence there, and there's a KOA behind me, and then there are two RV dealerships, one on this side and one on that side. So it's like all the RV activity in the entire city is happening right here. It's kind of crazy. Um, but uh, it, it's a nice, nice campground for being in the city. A little expensive, but you got to pretty much expect that when you're camping in, in a major metropolitan area. It was like almost $50 a night. Uh, so we're here for three days. We're leaving, what's today's Saturday? Yeah, today's Saturday, so we're leaving in the morning. And we're heading up to Lexington, where we will visit. The, there's some kind of horse museum or something there that my mom wants to see. And, uh, and then we'll head to uh, Natural Bridge Resort, which is south of uh, Red River Gorge in Kentucky. We'll be there for three nights, and then we will work our way home. So that is the plan, to be home by, I think, the 12th or the 13th. So anyway, let's uh, wander up here. I'll show you the pool and everything. So this is the pool area. Very nice, well-maintained pool. Lots of sun, if that's what you like. Not a lot of shade, if you're looking for that. Um, I mentioned this before, I believe in the previous video. Uh, this whole area of the country, Kentucky and Tennessee, is experiencing a major heat wave. Very unusual for this time of year. Temperatures mid to high 90s every day. It's been pretty rough. Um, I scheduled this trip later in the year purposely thinking that temperatures would be cooler, but no such luck, unfortunately. So, today is the last day of it, though. Tomorrow it's going to be down into the low 80s. We're going to get some rain, and then the rest of the trip is going to be in the uh, high 70s, low 80s, which will be much more manageable. Excuse me. Oh, man, you got some nice rigs here. Look at this one here. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at the paint scheme and the slide outs and the nice aluminum rims. Oh, that's a nice RV. I'd estimate half to three quarters of a million dollars. Wow. And towing a, another very expensive vehicle. I'm guessing, uh, I'm willing to bet they live in that RV. If that were mine, I'd live in it too. Man, oh man. Someday, someday I am going to upgrade from the Queen into a Class A. Um, I'm looking at uh, a Safari Trek. If you know anything about RVs, you're probably familiar with that brand. It's got a very unique uh, layout with a, a queen-size bed that actually comes down from the ceiling in the living area, so you don't have a whole uh, space in the rear dedicated to a bed. So you've got a, like a 26-foot RV with a living space of like a 35-footer, which I really, really like. And there's, it's got several other features that I like. Uh, so someday, someday, hopefully, hopefully someday soon, like, like maybe I'll keep the queen through next year and then start looking to upgrade. Um, and obviously when I go to sell the queen, it's not going to be an easy decision. I've got a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears and money invested in her. And I'm never going to get back what I put into her, but that's okay. I didn't really expect to. But when I do go to sell the queen, I'm going to give you all first crack at it. So if any of you out there are thinking you might want to buy the African Queen, you know, start thinking about it now, because it may come in the next year or so when you'll have the chance to do so. And uh, if nobody on YouTube or Facebook wants her, then I'll put her on the general market and see what happens. Hopefully I can get enough to offset the cost of the new RV. So yeah, anyway, here's another quick shot of, our, of the campground. Very nice, peaceful. You know, I expected it to be kind of noisy with the, with the uh, freeway being right there, but actually it isn't. It's nice and quiet. I slept just fine. 
so anyway um, it's about 3 30 in the afternoon right now the sun is still blaring I'm gonna give it a couple hours and uh, when the Sun starts to set head back into downtown and uh, check out the nightlife a little bit see what uh, Nashville has to offer in the evening I'm sure it should be interesting so I'll see you there Alrighty folks, we are deep in it right now. We are on 1st and Broadway in downtown Nashville. This is where it all happens at night. They got the hard rock right here. Now let's walk up Broadway and see what we find. So many drunk people, I don't think anybody will even notice me. It's just lines of bars, bar after bar after bar after bar. Somewhere around here is Coyote Ugly. I came there years ago, had a lot of fun in Coyote Ugly. You know what, I think I'm gonna go back to Broadway. I don't even know what street I'm on now, but this apparently is the uh, bar area, the bar district. I'm gonna try to get back to Broadway and show you some of the landmarks that might be worth uh, looking at. Okay, I'm keeping my mouth really close to the camera. Hopefully you can hear me. But I wanted to point out a couple of cool things. Right there is Kid Rocks, uh, Honky Tonk. Kid Rock is originally from Detroit, or the Detroit metro area anyway. I do believe he still lives there, uh, but obviously Nashville is the music city. This is where anybody want, has to come if they want to be successful in the music business. And uh, further down, you got Jason Aldean's Kitchen and something. I can't read it from here. Anybody who's a fan of country music knows who Jason Aldean is. But as you can see, Broadway is just endless. It's like... So it feels like Las Vegas in the middle of uh, the country. You got these rolling party buses everywhere. They just got the whole the top cut out of them and they just people stand in there and dance and drink while they drive around the city. The energy here is incredible. I got to say that. If you like the nightlife, drinking, partying, this is the place for you. I'll tell you. This is fantastic. I'm not much of a drinker or a partier, so I just walk around and enjoy the scenes and the sounds and the whatever. Not so much the smells. There's a lot of bad smells in the area. Museum right off of Broadway. People say Elvis is the king. I say no, the cash is the king. There's this footbridge here that uh, is pretty cool but it uh, gives you a great view of the city. Beautiful city. Very active.
There's Jimmy Buffett's Margarita Bill. I've been in there too. Look, I'm. <laughs> it is so loud here. I have no idea if you can even hear me, but I'm basically just gonna give you one last shot of Broadway, show you the uh, the way Nashville is at night, and then I'm gonna turn around and head back. All right, everybody. Well, that concludes our trip to Nashville. I wanted to end the video in a little bit more of a grand way, but unfortunately, the weather didn't cooperate with us. It started raining. Hey, Sumo. Hey, Sumo. Yes. We're actually in Lexington right now. We drove here last night, stayed the night at a Cracker Barrel, and it rained pretty much the whole way, so I was never able to stop and get video. Um, we're stopping here for a little while just to have lunch, and my mom's gonna go to the gym. Um, let me show you what I'm cooking. There you go. Turn it down a little bit. There you go. This is actually a, a pre-packaged rice recipe, and I just throw in some rotisserie chicken along with it. Real easy. You just boil water and let it boil down to the consistency you like and chow down. But anyway, um, we are heading now to uh, Natural Bridge uh, State Resort Park. It's kind of a strange name, but that's what they call it. Uh, we actually came through Lexington because we wanted to go, or should I say my mom wanted to go to a horse museum uh, in town, but they're actually closed today. So we're going to go straight to the campground, and then on our way back to Michigan, we'll swing back through Lexington and see the museum. So anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, go to facebook.com slash to follow along, and we'll see you next time. Take care.